Hello, hello, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. It is day two. Uh, I did end the day last time. It was getting kind of late. I was going to just keep going, but I decided that I didn't want to uh, start meeting people so late in the day. It looks like my plants have sprouted, and I have mail! Advertisement! I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Piers got you covered. Stop by Piers General Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. Hell yeah, I want a backpack. I ended up selling everything that I had picked up last time because I didn't have any room. Alright. Let's take care of our parsnips. And not just water the empty ground. Alright. Do I have more mail than just that? Oh! Hello there! Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. Cool. Sounds like you might have a fishing pole for me. Let's go! You know, I wonder, does that... It does, okay. Visit the beach south of town before 5pm. So that does add to my journal. Pick up some of these. Dandelion. So I tried to pick up these last time, but my backpack was full. I wonder what that symbol means. Like, I get that it's sunny. Also, didn't the weather say it was supposed to rain all day today? Okay. Nobody over here. Saw somebody go by. Ooh, okay. Calendar. So today is spring two, Lewis's birthday, egg festival. Okay, so it's got everybody's birthdays on here. And flower dance, egg fest, so different events. I wonder why that's got a... Oh! Oh, cool! There's requests, okay. I could really go for a ripe parsnip. Could a local farmer deliver one for me? Robin, 105G on delivery makes Robin happy. Okay. Well, since I'm growing parsnips, I can do that. All right. Who are you? Maru. Zero out of ten friendship level. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. I guess maybe. Ah, okay, so this has to be done in two days. I don't know if my... Oh, I guess they're done in four days, so I might be done in time. Okay, let's go... Let's go inside Pierre's. This art. Oh, I love it. Welcome to Piers. Don't forget to check out my daily wallpaper and flooring section. Cool. He's got seeds. Wallpaper flooring. Saplings for different trees. Okay. Can I talk to you not behind the counter? There we go. Hey, it's Miss Rebear, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. Okay. For sale, a backpack! Ah! I do not have enough money for a backpack. Okay. I have to come back and buy a backpack. Who are you? Hmm, should I wear something special to the aerobics meetup today? Caroline. You don't have anything else interesting to say, Caroline. Your door doesn't open. You're not good enough friends with Pierre or Caroline to enter their bedroom. Ah. With Abigail to enter her bedroom. That's a cool mechanic. What the hell? Did they ever, like, run the church? Altar of Yoba. Some weird, like, treasure shit in there. 
This cupboard is full of exercise equipment. Caroline, I think you need to chill. Oh, there we go. Hello, you must be Rebear, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Hi, Caroline. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving on to that old farm. Abigail Speedy. Here, I'll get out of your way, Abigail. Or, or you can just stand there in the hallway. Shut up, I'm exploring your house. A letter! To Mr. Pierre, it pains me to be the bearer of bad news, but I feel obligated to inform you of recent development most threatening to your livelihood. Jojako has decided to expand into Pelican Town. It's too late for the protest. Joja builders have already broken ground for their new Joja Mart. It must be devastating news for you. So many years in business, a local standby and now obscured by the shadow of a powerful, efficient, economically viable corporation. What a shame. As manager of the new Joja Mart, I feel to some degree personally responsible for your predicament. As such, I'd like to offer you a position as assistant grocer. We just start at 5G an hour. I look forward to seeing your resume. What an ass. How rude is that guy? Like, ah, oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's my fault that your shop's gonna go under, or I'm going to assume that your shop's gonna go under because of Joja Mart. But, uh, you know. Who are you? Do I know you? Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Wow. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer around could really change things. I don't think I like you, Jody. Emily looks pretty cool. I can read it on your face. You're going to live here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the sal saloon. That's where I work. Thanks, Emily. Oh, hey, Robin. Hey, hey, Robin. Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. It kind of is. I've only met 8 out of 28 people. Can you? Can you, like... Thanks. Oh god, there's more coming. Who are you? Ah, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Nice hair, Marnie. Can you, like... I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should sing by sometime. I will when I have a barn. Which I won't ever have a barn if you don't get out of the way. Damn it, Marty. Alright. Can I talk to you about the letter I saw? A little agriculture could really inject new life into the local economy. Yeah, I agree, Pierre. Let's, uh, is this Lewis? Yeah. So how was your first night in the old cottage? cold. Maybe if you patched up some of those drafts there, Lewis. Alright. Looks like we've got a hospital. You know, I, I can't always get these magnifying glass things to work. Oh. Okay, so I can buy energy tonic. Muscle remedy. Hello, Doctor. Harvey, feel free to stop by my office if you're ever feeling ill. You're young, though. You'll probably stay healthy without trying. Thanks, Harvey. You're all of these towns, folks. Pelican Town. Like, could you just not? Evelyn, when you get to be my age, you have to see the doctor more often. Thanks, Evelyn, for, for telling me about that. Don't spread disease. Cover your sneeze. This clinic is licensed for medical practice by the Ferngill Republic Health Authority. I don't... I want to talk... Oh wow, that she's... That's cool, he's actually taking her back there for her checkup. Is life sometimes difficult? Do you ever have trouble staying focused? Talk to your doctor about prov pravaloxinone. It's not for everyone. Side effects may include insomnia, severe anger, uncontrollable swelling of the throat, permanent discoloration of the lips, hair loss, and stroke. In extremely rare cases, 1 in 500 test subjects experience complete disintegration of one or more bones. 
Oh, this game is so great. Hello, nurse lady. Nurse. Nurse lady. Okay. Thanks, I guess. You're not good enough friends with Harvey to enter his bedroom. That's fair. All right. Apparently the nurse is not a lady we can talk to. The Star Drop Saloon. Food. Spirits. What kind of spirits? Oh, nice. Hello, friend. I can't talk to you over the counter. I'm just gonna walk back here like I own the place. Gus. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Hi, please relax and enjoy yourself. Thanks, Gus. I'm just gonna... Jukebox! Load game theme, cloud country, grandpa's theme. Okay, apparently I need to buy the soundtrack, because it's $5, and I want it. Arcade? What?! Journey of the Prairie King. Oh my goodness. Shoot. Ah! I wasn't expecting this. Oh, I'm bad at the Prairie King. Buy a Joja Cola for 75G? No. I only have 670G and I can't even afford a backpack. What's up here? I don't know, but it won't let me grab it. Doesn't look like there's anybody else up there. So I'm just gonna leave and come back. How many more people? 12. Walking on the grass, yeah. Sun house. Knock, knock. Who's there? Haley. Haley, are you home? The oven smells sweet like fresh cupcakes. I want cupcakes. Don't mind me, I'm just walking through your house when you're not here. It's a globe. Hey, there's Stardew Valley. Build your own darkroom from scratch. Flailing with purpose, a modern approach to the art of dance. Apparently she likes dance and photography. What's on here? Super Fashion Girl magazine. I'm a super fashion girl. I, oh, can I go through your trash? I just moved in and I'm so rude to everybody. Hello. Man, what is with this town? They have their doors unlocked and everything. It's set to the news station. Report card, Vincent. Vincent is a good boy, but he can make do with a little more studying, obviously. God, Vincent, spelling is not that hard. I probably can't go into any of those rooms because I'm not friends with anybody. Eggs, bread, carrots, and milk. It's empty. Glad I checked. Ah! Hey, Vincent! I looked at your report card! Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Yeah, Vincent, I'm pretty okay. I am in your house without permission, and I looked at your report card. Learn how to read. I'm tutoring Vincent and Jazz today. They're a handful, but it's nice to make a difference in somebody's life. Where's she going? Jazz. Hi. Hi. What's this way? 
Okay, so that was that whole area. I haven't been to the mayor's manor yet. Okay. Well, it's locked. I wonder who lives there. Jenny Lion. Cow house. Cow. It's locked. Open nine to six. Really? Really? It's 640. I missed it. Okay, I think if I'm right, yeah, if I go north from here, I can get back to my farm. And I don't think there's anything south, so... Let's just go this way. Oh, uh, more people. Hey, I don't think I've met you yet. Wait. Maybe I have. Ma'am? Ma'am? Sir? Sam. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Thanks. Talk to me. God, you guys. Oh, it got dark out. Wait, does that mean whoever lives here is home now? Yeah. Haley. Oh, you're that new farmer girl or whatever, aren't you? I bet you're the one who reads Fashion Girl magazine. What does that mean? Nah. Probably not. Go into the sewer. Check out some dead people. It's old and faded. Our beloved Mona. Aww. Unap dunyu du put. Okay. Uh. I bet I can probably read that later. Maybe. Mr. Lewis, your house looks a lot bigger from the outside. Your grandpa used to complain about the rickety old bed, but I think deep down he actually loved that house. Right. Well, uh, about that bed. Dog. There's no dog there. It's locked. Open 8 to 8. Okay, so that's the store. It's trashy over here. It's locked. Open 9 to 8. Also, the store. pick these up? Nah. Okay. I guess I should probably go sleep. Drop off these dandelions I picked up sleep and then try to meet the other half of the town. Wow, there's no lights in my house. Yeah, I'll sleep for the night. Ooh, more money. What? That was a weird noise. Oh. Now it's raining. Oops. Well, at least I don't have to water my parsnips, I guess. No mail today. This is kind of depressing. I wish I had an umbrella. 
Alright, so... I'm trying to remember who I already met. Will it tell me in my relationships panel? Wow! I like that it tells me who's single. Okay, so I still have... Oh, I have to go meet the wizard! I, I'm assuming. I don't really know how to get over there. Alright, let's start with this stuff over here that was locked up. Although I think it's still probably closed, so I'm gonna go up here first. Got a pretty fountain. Ooh, what's that? Daffodil? Hell yeah. Playground? I cannot seem to play on the playground. Dumb. What is this? It's locked. Okay. Ooh, more daffodils. Let's sell these. Is this place open yet? Yeah. Alex. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're gonna get along great. I'm Alex. I haven't even said anything to you and you already think we're gonna get along great. Hey, is this your grandma? Thanks, Evelyn, for telling me about them butterflies. George! Humph! It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off! Humph! I like how he's the only one who gets a special voice, because he's a grumpy old man. The Dark Blue Life, a coal miner's memoir. Okay. Oh, wait, where are you going? I don't think I've talked to you yet. Come here. Shane. No, I don't have time to chat with you. Rude? Wow. I didn't want to talk to you either. That's fine. We don't need to be friends. Pam? Hey, kid. Name's Pam. Thank thanks, Pam. Don't be a jerk and we'll get along fine. Okay, Pam. Ooh, what's over here? Closed until summer. Okay. Ooh, library? Yeah, library. Gunther. Hello there. Welcome to the Stardew Valley Arche Archaeological Office. Uh, this is embarrassing, but the previous curator made off with the entire collection. We don't have any artifacts for display. Oh man, it's just like the museum from Animal Crossing. Hey, if you find any artifacts or minerals out there, would you let me know? That's so cool. Book. There's a book missing here. What is this? Okay, so that's really cool. How many people do I have left? Seven? I'm trying to find them all in this one episode so that I'm done meeting people. Clint. Er, hi. I'm Clint. Thanks, thanks, Clint. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need an upgrade to your tools, I'm your guy. Cool. I'm gonna read your letters, Clint. There's a stack of metalworking blueprint. Never mind, Clint. Oh, right. I need to go to the beach. 
Well, I guess let's go there now. No, not that way. So far, it doesn't seem too confusing to get around town. Cutscene! I'm walking. Ahoy there, miss. Willie. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. Ah, uh, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Yeah, give me your old fishing pole. Give me. Yes. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. You betcha. Do 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 do. You received a bamboo pole. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. It's all, I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what my old pappy used to say anyway. Alright, Willie. At least I didn't have to buy that. Like, I have to buy the backpack. Alright. Bring Robin a parsnip. Clam! I don't want to go exploring and stuff until I know Elliot's cabin. It's locked. Only Elliot's friends can enter uninvited. Is this a fishing pole? 300 pieces of wood. This could be fixed. Oh, okay. Is this a fishing pole? I meant fishing spot. Alright, so... I've gone to the blacksmith. I still need to go to the Joja Mart. I still need to go to the carpenter shop. Community center... I think was the place that was closed... There's really weird noises happening. So it looks like everywhere else that I still have to go is kind of way out. So I'm actually going to call it an episode. And then when we come back, I'm kind of ex going to explore these far reaches. And maybe finally start figuring out what's going on here in Stardew Valley. Thanks for watching.